Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to convert a PDF file into sheet music that you can then edit the notes and dynamics and those kinds of things. In order to do this, uh, we will be using uh, the software MuseScore, uh, which is a free open source software to use. Let's get started. So the first thing you will want to do, uh, if you haven't done so already, is go ahead and download and install uh, MuseScore. If you have any um, issues with this, I have another video on uh, how to in download and install this. Uh, you'll want to go to MuseScore.org, and then once you're there, you can go to uh, Free Download, or you can go to Download, and then Software, and then that will take you to this page, and you can download the correct version uh, for uh, your computer. Okay, so once you have uh, MuseScore uh, downloaded, uh, the next thing you will want to do, um, you can go ahead and open MuseScore so that it's um, ready to go. And uh, right now I have a blank uh, document here, but let's say I have a, a PDF file that I want to bring into MuseScore so that I can edit to the different elements of the music. So I've got this uh, PDF file. Um, this is a PDF file of a Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And it's just a melody uh, with a treble clef. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, convert this into uh, a file that now we can edit. So uh, you will want to go to uh, this website here, which is uh, musescore.com slash import. Another way to find it is to uh, go through your MuseScore when it's open and then just click on import uh, PDF. And once you're here, uh, you will want to uh, make sure that you have a an account set up. So um, right now um, I'm signed into my account. Um, and again, you can um, start an account for free uh, so that you can uh, take advantage of this uh, service. So what you want to do is then uh, once you're here at musescore.com slash import, then you can click on select PDF file. And you see I've got a couple scores to choose from. I'm gonna choose the Mary Had a Little Lamb example. And once you find the PDF you, you want to convert, just click on open. And then it will queue the PDF up to um, be uh, converted. And then depending on how um, large your uh, PDF file is, it might take uh, a couple minutes. Um, this is a pretty small one, so it should be done um, pretty quickly. But um, once that's done, then what will happen is it will say that it's uploaded and then it will tell you the result. And then once um, it is uploaded, there it is. So it took it 22 seconds. Um, now I can click on download on the right hand side. And once I click on download, it will download it to my computer. And then um, once you, you want to go find um, where it, it uh, downloaded to. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, well, I can show it in the folder. And then now I can go ahead and double click on the file that was downloaded. And then now it is going to open in MuseScore. As so you can see, MuseScore is blinking, so that means it's opened up. And there it is. So now we've got the uh, PDF file in MuseScore uh, that we can then edit. So you can see a couple of things that happen. So um, it says voice here. Um, so it, it doesn't know exactly what um, kind of instrument you want. So you can just double click on that and it will, you know, bring up the properties and you can change, um, you know, the different words that are used. And again, um, so that is the easiest way uh, to um, convert a PDF to MuseScore. And again, it's a service that MuseScore offers for free. And you can see I can um, now move the notes around if I want to. Um, and edit these notes. Now, if you're not familiar with MuseScore, um, I have uh, a lot of other tutorials available on how to use this. Um, the main one you want to start with is the note input. Um, that's like the, the beginning lesson on how just to put in notes and rests and those kinds of things. And then, of course, I have lots of other videos on how to um, use the, the software uh, to its fullest potential. So now that you have it in MuseScore, you're, you'll be able to edit any elements uh, that maybe did not convert correctly. Uh, maybe you need to change notes or insert rests and those kinds of things. Again, it, it, this is uh, going to hopefully still save you time in the long run than you manually inputting every single note, rest, dynamic marking, uh, legato, staccato, and those kinds of things. So hopefully this still saves you time in the long run. Now, I have seen some examples of that people were, were not able to get it to convert correctly, and it might not. Depending on how uh, well the how clean the PDF scan is, um, uh, you know, the software can only do uh, so much, and it, it might not uh, bring it in correctly and those kinds of things. But um, ever since uh, MuseScore uh, updated to the 3.6 uh, version. I've noticed that it's it's been a lot uh, easier with the downloads, and it it seems to do a little bit of a better job. So um, I'm not sure if uh, they they've been able to kind of address some of the issues that people had earlier. You now know how to convert a PDF file into sheet music that you can then edit. 
If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. Uh, I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I'll put links around this video so you can find them. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.